It's time to be a truth bomb for Stace, who has a book called Truth Bombs. I'm here to be honest with you, as I always am. Stace is right to a degree on why he's doing it, Joe Walsh and David French and Jonah Goldberg. In regards to Joe Walsh running, they're doing it for wrong reasons. They don't like Trump's character, they don't like Trump as a person, and they just don't like Trump. But I am here to tell you the truth about David French and Jonah Goldberg, and then I'm going to do Joe Walsh because he's a little bit different because he joined the Never Trump movement later. Um, they are never Trumpers. Their principles have not changed because Trumps have not changed. Yes, he may be doing a few things conservatively, but he's not doing because he's a conservative. It just happens to be conservative. And I agree with you. Joe Walsh is a carnival barker, but he is still a principal conservative. I think he thought that he was getting someone that he could mold into being a conservative. But when you watch 60 Minutes with Scott Perry or Meet the Press with Tim Russert when Trump would be on those shows with those people, he said liberal stuff. And I think he thought Trump could be a conservative. But so he's doing it for the wrong reasons because Trump is not going to look bad because he's taking a lot of heat. Because when you attach yourself with Trump, even if you disagree on things that you agree on, you're taking a hit. And with the Kavanaugh hearing last year and Crazy Bossy Ford trying to bring him down during the hearing, I think you are like when you associate with people, they can become toxic. And, 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 and Bossy Ford made Kavanaugh toxic. And a lot of people think he's a sexual predator even though he's not he didn't do anything but they think he did and now trump is toxic because anyone's connected to trump it's like well you condone trump's behavior and the way that he talks to people so it makes you toxic now you're right he's doing it for the wrong reasons non-principal conservative reasons that's why he's a carnival barker carnival act and a charlatan and a empty suit and a snake oil salesman because he's not going to get a bomb a cable appealed. He's not going to get a wall built. He's not going to get a balanced budget or a bomb appealed any more than Trump. So, yes. But, Steve Dace, you need to accept the fact that Trump isn't a conservative on infrastructure. Trump is not a conservative on paid family leave. Trump's not concerned about uh, going out to drug companies. That's not considered a position. He doesn't have a budget. So to a large extent, he isn't a conservative. Yes, on some things, he might be doing things conservatively, but it is having to be conservative. It doesn't mean, no, that Trump is a conservative because he's not, not really a large part. He had not really had the Damascus moment. So I think Joe Walsh thought that he had. And he was saying this stuff. And granted, yes, you should start out with the right no position. And then when you get something sincere, then you come over when he's right. But orange man bads because he's toxic. Because now people start acting and handling things the way he does. Well, you know, you sit there and you act on emotion. And you constantly react back every time someone says something to you. Like, you know, you can't just like with what happened when you fired, you know, the person that he had last week, you know, Bolton, he fired Bolton. And now I'm saying every time Bolton says something, he has to react back. So he's toxic because you don't react to every little thing. And, you know, the way that he is, it's like not how you should tell your kid how to act or react to things. So I think Joe Walsh thinks he's toxic. I really do. And he's not a conservative on stuff. But he says he's no different of a person than when he was in an election. No, is he not there the way he said to Scott Perry or Tim Russell? But here's the thing. When you're on the campaign trail and he says this stuff, 
I think Joe Walsh wanted to believe it, and you know, and so he wanted to believe it, then he's a conservative. But I don't think Joe Walsh, you know, is a liar. He isn't too pure conservative. He was supporting Trump and like, well, Trump's not a conservative, so why is he trying to sell you that Trump is a conservative when our rescue, you know? And I didn't show any armor to rescue us. So I think he wanted to believe that Trump was a conservative. Now, it's like, because he's taking blowback. Taking blowback. Supporting Trump in the election. Now he wants to run to rectify it that I am the true conservative. And Joe Walsh is a principled conservative. And it hasn't changed. Either has David French. David French just took the reasons he had before the election because he doesn't think anything has changed. So therefore, if he really hasn't changed, then he still needs to stay the never Trumper that he was because David French doesn't believe things have changed. Either has Jonah Gober. If they still think he's the same person, yeah, maybe he's doing a few considered things, so maybe they're wrong on that stuff. Like the Jerusalem, he organizes the capital of Israel. And a few other things, yes. So except on a few things, they're... So that's why they're still never Trumpers. Because they don't believe that they should stop being never Trump as long as he still hasn't shown any difference of positions. As long as he still has the same stuff and believes the same then he's then they're still going to have the same stances and take the same stances. And yes, you know what? You only does good. Things. Yes, they attack him from the left. And yes, it's orange man bad because his character. They think he is orange man bad. They truly believe it. And you may not like it. And you may think that never Trump 